Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Tuesday afternoon weather webcast for June 10th, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. A little bit different day today than we had yesterday. Basically, rain chances were nil throughout uh, southeast Alabama and, uh, and the rest of the wiregrass yesterday afternoon because of dry air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That kept clouds to a minimum and also kept rain chances zero. Uh, today, a little bit different. We've seen a uh, southerly flow increase in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That in turn has moistened the atmosphere up and allowed some thunderstorms to get going uh, this afternoon. Some of these are strong. We even had a severe thunderstorm warning a little earlier uh, as I record this right around uh, 2 15 for uh, folks in Henry and Clay County. That warning has uh, yet to expire uh, over in Clay County. But this is what we've uh, got right now. The last three hours or four hours on local radar you see the storms uh, have moved generally from southwest to northeast in the basic flow pattern of the atmosphere and a lot of acti activity still to our west. I think most of this will stay, uh, stay clear and we'll just catch the tail end of uh, this huge squall line that is affecting Alabama once again, second day in a row that the entire state of Alabama is seeing some sort of uh, heavy rainfall, thunderstorm, and even severe weather activity. Uh, I think we'll steer clear of all the really nasty weather until we get to tomorrow, I think uh, more thunderstorms and maybe some severe storms happen for us on Wednesday. Here are your uh, watches around. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 7 o'clock for the counties that are highlighted in pink there. Do not think this uh, warning or this watch, I'm sorry, gets extended uh, into the rest of the viewing area, but we'll have to wait and see. Just uh, not a, uh, enough support and forward movement of that squall line to to give rise to that watch to be extended. But of course, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. But as of right now, I don't think that is going to be the case. Still plenty of uh, juice in the atmosphere though. Temperatures in the low 90s and upper 80s region wide and lots of humidity. Dew points everywhere above 70. And that is awful oppressive heat and humidity combination. And when you factor those two in, you have heat indices that feels like temperature over 100 degrees in a couple of spots in the upper 90s and most others in the mid 90s in the, the spots that are feeling I guess the most comfortable if you can call it that but still plenty of uh, juice in the atmosphere expect the thunderstorms the uh, small ones to continue that squall line will stay well enough to our to our west and here it is it's been moving through Texas Louisiana Mississippi for uh, most of the day and now uh, setting its sights on Alabama a lot of uh, heavy thunderstorm activity earlier in uh, northern Alabama and central part of the state, but uh, we're getting kind of the tail end and actually seeing a little bit of an outflow boundary from the uh, dying out thunderstorms, and that outflow boundary has created this line here. That might make it in, but uh, with the, the nature of an uh, outflow boundary that creates thunderstorms, that one will not hold together too much longer, and I'm not real worried about this stuff out to the west either uh, in southeastern Mississippi. That will continue to die out as well. It, it, is uh, there is another uh, squall line that I'm worried about that will uh, impact our weather on Wednesday and that could cause some uh, pretty big thunderstorms but we'll look at that in a second. Uh, it's all due to this upper level low pressure system spinning in the Ozarks, northern Arkansas, southern Missouri that's uh, moving to the north and east. It is weakening however there's going to be just enough juice left in it tomorrow to cause some stormy weather for us during the uh, morning time and, and late afternoon through the late afternoon hours. Watch your future cast for today. I think Futurecast underdoing our rain chances just a little bit. I still think we see maybe 30 to 40 percent chance of rain through the evening time. And there comes that next squall line on Wednesday morning. And this is not going to be a particularly uh, you know, large line or a strong line. However, we could see some uh, thunderstorms out of this early tomorrow morning. And uh, most of the heavy activity, like you see, stays to our south. But during the uh, late morning and early afternoon, expect more chances for thunderstorms. Futurecast underdoing those chances just a bit, I think. Uh, we all stand a pretty good chance to see thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon. And in turn, our temperatures won't be quite as hot for tomorrow. It'll uh, dip down into the upper 60s with the rainfall around tonight and early tomorrow morning. And then by the afternoon time, uh, don't expect those numbers to get uh, anywhere close to the, as hot as they are going to be today or uh, were yesterday. I think we still have a shot to get to the mid 90s in some spots. I think most of us will stay in the low 90s because of the cloud cover and the rainfall around. So a pretty active day uh, anticipated for tomorrow. After that, we return to a more typical summer pattern with highs in the 90s, low 90s, and just 30 to 40 percent chances of rain. So uh, be aware of the thunderstorm threat tomorrow. Be watching us. Be watching the sky. And 
and uh, please uh, take the umbrella with you tomorrow. You will definitely need it. That's it for the Tuesday afternoon with the webcast. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave us a comment on the uh, social media sites below. That's where you'll find this uh, webcast, hopefully each and every day. There might be some days we don't get to it, but uh, each and every day we'll try to get a, a new, fresh webcast up there for you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you back here on Wednesday.